What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today we are taking a look at a beautiful library from Cine Samples called Orchestral Chords. So this library, formerly called Cine Orc, is an orchestral chords library. And what's really, really cool is that for the uh, for the recent update that they've done to this library, it's now available for Contact Player, which means you don't need the full version of Contact to run this. You only need the Contact Player, which is free. And the library comes with four different patches. So my favorite is the Low Chords patch, and I'm going to show you these other ones as well. Um, what's really interesting is that uh, when CineSamples actually sent me this library initially, there were a couple little bugs um, that I found and then I let them know about it. I sent in a report and very quickly the next week they got back to me with an updated version. And now this is uh, this version that I'm showing you is what is now available. And so um, you can download it as well um, if you like the library. And speaking of which, CineSample is very kindly also giving a copy away as well today. So if you would enjoy this library, you like what you hear, feel, uh, hear sorry, feel free to stay till the end so you can catch up on those giveaway details and I'd love to share a copy with you. So first of all, you might be wondering, well, Chris, you always talk about the benefits of having a flexible library and flexible approach, being able to play multi-sampled instruments. So what is the benefit of an orchestral chords library? Isn't that much more limiting? And yes, in a way, because right, you, you have all the instruments recorded together. So it's not like you can separate them out and then play one line at a time, but the the upside is that you get a much more cohesive, natural, uh, realistic ensemble sound if that's what you're going for. And that's mainly because they've been recorded at the same time. All these different instruments have been recorded together, right? And what's also really cool is that this, uh, this library also has a kind of scripted legato function. So if you're transitioning from chord to chord, there's a really natural transition that was really beautiful in CineOrc, and now they've applied it here to orchestral chords as well. So I'm going to show this to you. And uh, yeah, here in the first patch, the low chords, you can see there's the poly function, so you can have polyphonic playing, but very, very rarely will you be using that. Um, I find myself using the mono, so that's with the scripted legato. Let's have a quick listen here. So the chords here are so warm, so moody in a way, very sinister. And the script of legato allows you to basically go from note to note without having to worry about cutting off the first initial note, right? Cleanly to then transition to the second note. So to quickly give you an idea of how this is actually laid out, on the bottom in the dark blue, we have major chords that are in root position and they have basically two octaves here. Then we have major chords in first inversion. Then above that, we have minor chords in root position minor chords in first inversion as well. And then there's basically like two octaves of that. So I would have loved if they had second inversion as well. Totally understand though, they they uh, they don't. <laughs> so I usually have to kind of make do. And usually I would use this in context of a fuller mix. If there's a really full type of climactic section where I really want all the sound to be enveloping you and hugging you, then I would be using this patch on the very bottom just to outline the fullness of that chord body if that if that makes sense you know so yeah in in, in uh, more mellow arrangements and in more exciting arrangements I tend to use this patch let's move on to the next one which is two T chords uh, really cool because there are like um, high chords right so not just low chords this time
Okay, so on the light blue down here, this is the major chords, and up here are the minor chords. And I was basically just playing harder to activate the staccato. So if I play relatively lightly, you're gonna hear that sustain. Again, with the scripted legato there, which sounds very natural. And then if you play harder, you're gonna get that staccato. So now you might be wondering, well, okay, it's it's nice to have actual chords with major minor augmented qualities, but what if we just want octaves, right? If we don't want that third in the middle to define the quality of the chord, is that possible? That's what this 2D octaves patch is for. In the bottom blue key range here, we have basically marcato samples. And then up here on the yellow, we have staccato and sustain, again, depending on the velocity that you're playing. So let me play the marcato first. <laughs> Kind of just recreating the Crimea River intro from Michael Bublé's cover there. Um, so yeah, really powerful patch. And again, if you want those moments of accent, like that punch in the orchestra with all those instruments playing together, this is the perfect patch for that. Finally, we have the Vivaldi Tremolo, which is like the black horse of this library. I actually really love this patch. I find myself using it a lot when I'm trying to crescendo into a climatic section, when I really want that texture to not necessarily be heard evidently, but if I want it to be tucked in and I want it to support the crescendo that everything else is building towards, the Vivaldi Tremolo patch is my go-to. So the only downside here is, unfortunately, there's no legato function for this patch. I wish there was, but hey, there you go. So let me play the Vivaldi Tremolo a little bit. And this patch is very responsive to the mod wheel as well. I believe it's just one dynamic layer, but the, you know, the dynamic is very uh, wide ranged. So have a quick listen. Right, so you can tell it's not just a regular tremolo. There's a, a lot of intensity and grit behind there, and the entire section is playing it. It really just adds to that authenticity, which I really, really like. So overall, a very simple library, and I believe this library is, if not less than a gigabyte, very, very small, right? So yes, all in all, it comes back to that question. Is this library necessary for you? And I would argue that if you already have your core orchestra set up, if you have those workhorse libraries where you have all the different separated multi-sampled instruments, the CS series, um, Berlin series, Spitfire Orchestra, whatever that you may have, but if you want that extra bit of glue and you want to have an easy library to play with that just gets you good results out of the box, this library is perfect for that. It's always been a favorite for me, so I, I really wanted to share it with you here today, and I hope... Um, you know, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, speaking of which, let's get into the giveaway because if you've enjoyed this library and you wanna get your hands on it, I wanna share that with you too. So uh, the first thing you just gotta do to enter this giveaway is to uh, fill out the form below in the description box. Just leave your details there, submit the form, and I will get back to you within a couple days via email to let you know who the winner is. And uh, that's the first step to actually get registered into the system. And a byproduct of that is that you'll be subscribed to my email list as well. So I will be able to send you uh, weekly composing content that's exclusive that I don't share anywhere else. I send, um, you know, uh, like private content, private like videos and stuff like that. And my, my subscribers really enjoy it. So I would love for, to have you there as well. And that's the first rule. Number two is to leave a comment under this video, letting me know what you would use this library for. Uh, maybe it's one of the contacts that I mentioned or another one that you might think of. And the third and final rule is to simply leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. I, I really enjoy uh, making these videos for you and doing these giveaways. So um, seeing the seeing uh, you know you leaving the like is is always a pleasure. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll catch up with you in the next video and I'll reach out via email again in the next couple of days if you want to enter this giveaway. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.